Devil's Brigade. The movie created the myth. These soldiers are living the reality. For the next month, they'll train and fight the way the Devil's Brigade did. And if they think being a soldier in 1942 was easy, they're in for a shock. Under fire! Come on, in get Do not interfere on the ridge. Understand? Oh, kick your fucking ass! I tell him to do something, he does it. Their time in the past will be violent and brutal. Kill him for God's sake! Before it's over. One of these men will almost die. Four will be hospitalized, and two will go home. Those who tough it out will come to Europe to attempt one of the Devil's Brigade's most dangerous missions. The experience will be harder than the soldiers could ever have imagined. It will push some to their limits. Now we do it because we're all fucking soldiers and we don't turn back or none of that shit. Because we, that's just what we are, we're soldiers. Using muscle, courage, and all their special forces training, the men will try to do what the Devil's Brigade once did. Overcome the odds and defeat a resolute and determined enemy. These men are not actors, but experienced German soldiers. And just like the Panzer Grenadiers who held this outpost 60 years ago, this squad is hell-bent on holding their position. What you're about to take right now is the same training as they did in 1942-43. No surprise, you all qualified soldier, and this is the way you're going to be treated as such. You can wear your equipment as you see fit. What we're looking for is people who can perform with the equipment that they're given. The men of the brigade were both Canadians and Americans. This squad is too. We're gonna set up the big... Above everything else, it was the brutal training which broke those barriers. Whether you came from Texas or Toronto was meaningless. Everyone double-timed around camp and was loaded like bullets in the back of a truck Angelo Godola, a sergeant in the U.S. Army, has fired many weapons. He says nothing beats the Thompson. Firing the 45 caliber Thompson is one of the best experiences to do. Uh, ever since I was a kid, you know, you carry around that toy gun, and you're hoping to get a chance to shoot it someday, and this is the first chance I ever got to have it in my hand, so it was great. Good food means good morale. And after a few days in the past, these soldiers are also a happy squad. <laughs> They ran the mountain, shot the guns, and think they can do what the old guys did without too much pain. But they haven't gone one-on-one -on -one with Bill Wolf yet. You need a wider angle, so you can block wide, false. Okay, there's the knife trapped. Okay, take it off him, all right? This is not going to be a good... Five into him. Get your hands on your head. Right there. Fuck, he's thick. <laughs> You couldn't be a very good cook, okay? Meet Bill Wolf, one of the meanest 60-year-olds around. Drive into the guy's chest, okay? Then you got his eyes with these hands. Wolf, a hand-to-hand -hand instructor in the Canadian Army, teaches what's called defendo, fighting dirty. The American Army had built a prototype snow machine to carry men and equipment, the weasel. But with a top speed of 30 miles per hour and almost no armor, the weasel was every infantryman's worst nightmare. To get Spencer and the others back on track, the instructors have decided to conduct a snap inspection. Joe, what detonated over here? Anything in there? That was a, a question, Joe. I got it. No. Nothing in there. Did you get away with a rack look like this anywhere else in the military? It's negative, son. Okay, so we're not going to get away with it here, right? Roger. All right. Don't want you to be embarrassed if somebody... Have you wore those? Uh, no, sir. No, I don't blame you. There you go. Yes, sir. Hey, take a look. 
This is where the first special service force learned their killing right, skills. Helena, Montana. And these soldiers are fighting the Devil's Brigade way with no mercy. Grab like so. This is okay. sissy shit. Grab like this. See the expression on the LT's face? Here's nothing. That's it. Either do it right or die. Got it? Many of these men are combat veterans. Some are Canadians who fought in Afghanistan. Others, Americans, who've recently returned from Iraq. They've come to the original Devil's Brigade training camp to spend a month in 1942, learning how those legendary soldiers train. They don't call them booby traps anymore, but rather IEDs, improvised explosive devices. So once the square pin's pulled, all you gotta do is pull your main safety. And in Afghanistan and Iraq, they're taking a terrible toll on men like these. So here's our tripwire. And I, I made it incredibly loose. But just go ahead and pull on that. I'll try to hold this. See if we get a little bigger. It sounded a little better, didn't it? <laughs> okay, then the same chain of ignition. Angelo Godola is a sergeant in the National Guard who recently lost a family member to an IED in Iraq.